seriously, is, is this how it's going to be now? Well, hello there, and welcome to another edition of Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB into your TV. Uh, we'll start this morning with an update on the royal bladder because I know you're all very worried about what's going on with, with Prince Philip. Uh, it, it's a recurrence of the bladder infection. Uh, and he's recovering well, but you do have to ask the question, is this just a basic personal hygiene issue we're dealing with here? He's just got too old to look after his own willy. Uh, is there somebody whose job this is? These are all things I don't understand. Yeah, there's a lot of questions surrounding the royal family. Is there a, a royal willy washer? <laughs> I almost got that out without slurring it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is that, is that how you get bladder infections? Don't even know that. Is, is 91 too old to be a prince? Don't, should you not be able to graduate to, to Duke or King or something by then? All, all interesting questions that's just coming out, out of my head. Um, we've got... Oh, that, that topic didn't fit on one, one page. So can we just quickly tape that one up? Uh, how's it going to work? We, there we go. Okay, that'll do. So we've got... Uh, learning Geography! Does that even fit on the screen? I don't know. Learning geography through current events. This is the exciting new discussion on Twitter today, courtesy of Glenn ZB, uh, because Assange, of course, has taken refuge in the Ecuadorian uh, embassy in London, uh, and they've, they've, they've now granted him political asylum, which is, which is nice for him. But the thing I... Even though he's a complete whack job, obviously. But the nice thing about that is that we get to learn more about Ecuador. Because we don't know a lot about Ecuador, do we? Apart from the bananas. Uh, so, um, here it is. There's Ecuador. You can see it's, it's sort of up that top, top left-hand bit of South America there. Colombia, Peru, there's Ecuador. Oh, capital city, Quito. Did you, you didn't know that, did you? I just, well, I certainly didn't. I've never even heard of it. Uh, it's got Cotopaxi, which is the highest active volcano in the world. Um, and it's roughly the size of Colorado. Soccer's the national sport, so that's, that's a bit of a negative for them. And their official language is both Spanish and Quechua. Which I... That doesn't make this stuff up about Ecuador. But, you know, this is just like... We didn't know where uh, Libya before they, they had that whole civil war thing there. We didn't know that that was a place. Syria, you know, places like Homs, Aleppo, we'd never heard of these places. Damascus we'd heard of, but only because there's a road that goes there. So, um, yeah, I, I love learning geography through current events. So get on to that uh, discussion on Twitter today. Uh, it'll catch on like wildfire, like some of my other discussions that I've launched this week. We've got the public shunning of Bob, as I've come to know him, uh, because it just sounds a little bit more friendly than the beast of, of, of Blenheim. Uh, this is Stuart Murray Wilson, of course. Stuart Wilson is so evil he has to have his uh, 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 middle name. So the Wangan Wanganui Council, uh, they had a massive four to five hour meeting last night and what they've come up with is they've decided to have a public shunning. So I'm not quite sure how that works, whether they wait for him to move in and then instead of taking muffins round, they, they go up to the front door, uh, knock on the door, he comes to the door and they just turn their backs on him. That's, that's going to that's gonna hurt. All right, good news. It's Feedback Friday, and what feedback we have. Um, I've got my, my insights from the Facebook page. Uh, it's, I've got two lots of insights, because you get emailed insights, and then you can just look them up. I got emailed the insights yesterday, and I said my, my weekly total reach uh, was down 39.9%, so I was gutted about that. But then I looked it up today, and it turns out that today it's up 60 point, uh, it's up 60 percent. So that's a massive swing. I, I've literally, that's like 100% change in my in my reach uh which is obviously that must be the physio kicking in i guess i don't know uh we've also got massive reaction to my uh, gold get gold medal to valerie adams suggestion at eden park um niall rogers said why would we want an athletics or olympic prize awarded at a rugby match i think you kind of missed the point there niall it was because that was where there was a large crowd it was nothing to do with the rugby uh, he wanted to have it at an athletics event, which would be dumb because there's no crowds at athletic events in New Zealand because nobody's interested in that. And then he came back later on and he said he thinks that Adams might care more about who's actually there watching, i.e. people from the athletics community. And again, there are no people in the athletics community, so no, you're wasting your time with that one. George Brown doesn't understand why it's so hard to get the medal. That drug-cheating whore should have her medal destroyed! Valerie should receive a new untouched virgin gold medal. Yes, I think you're probably right there, George. And um, uh, we, we, Greg says I'm the best. Craig says he, I've got his backing. 
And uh, random stuff from Mark, who says that the drug that Ofsteptrok uh, was found to take is found in pregnant cats, which is the national dish of Belarus. I don't think that's true, but it is quite funny. Um, and um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's Feedback Friday. Keep the, keep the feedback coming in. Uh, and uh, we just want to finish with the, uh, the winning catchphrase of the week. This is something I started on Tuesday when I tried this one. Remember kids, don't dislocate your shoulder. Which was a little bit too specific perhaps. Uh, and then uh, Wednesday we had this one. Don't run too high or fly too fast. Which didn't really make much sense. So then, then I tried this one. Uh, a fast Glen ZB TV is a good Glen ZB TV. Which I quite liked, although I didn't really say it properly and it sounded like I was drunk. In fact, maybe I was drunk because I didn't even get the name of the whole TV show right yesterday morning when I started the show. Here's what happened there. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Glen ZB, the show that puts... So, yeah, I don't know. We filmed this about 9am. Is that too early to start drinking? Maybe. Anyway, so what I've decided to go with is uh, thanks for having Glen ZB in your tally. Yeah.